Ladies and gentlemen, we've just unlocked a new level of PC VR gaming. <gasps> What? This is amazing! As now you're able to use hand tracking while playing PC VR games using just your Quest 3 or Quest 2. You don't need link cables, web trackers, or any futuristic gloves with sensors. Just your headset and a PC. This is exactly what my hands are doing. This is insane! So far, I've tried it with VR Chat and Half Life Alex, and although this feature is still in beta and by no means perfect, it is very impressive, and I can't wait to see it develop even further. I can actually use oh oh no so it's not perfect no before I show you how to do it, I want to say that how good or how bad it works largely depends on your controller binding, or essentially your controller mapping. You'll need to remap your physical controllers into your hand tracking gestures, and ideally you want to set up a separate binding for each game that you play. For example, in VRChat you'll have a cool way to do movement mechanics where you just pinch and hold your index and middle fingers and then drag it in the direction you want to go. Oh, it can move. Like, <laughs> that's cool. Or, like in Half-Life Alex, you can set up pointing as a movement trigger, even though I don't prefer this one, because when you actually want to point and press a button or something, you'll just be moving forward, which is not very convenient. You also want to be careful with the grip gesture, because in most of the games, you want to grab onto stuff like a ladder, for example, to climb, and you don't want a menu to pop up or any other feature to activate when you don't intend to. All right, so this binding works for me. I would definitely recommend choosing different bindings for different games. Still, there are so many gestures for you to assign functions to. For example, you can set up pinching of your index, middle, ring fingers, or a pinky to do things like jump, mute and unmute your microphone, open menus, and so on. You can even set whether it's a short pinch or a long pinch and hold, so essentially each finger can have two features assigned to them, so there are actually many more gestures available to you to set up than you may initially think. Even though it can be quite time-consuming and for us to set up this binding. I've tested this hand tracking only for a short time and I used community bindings to set them up. Basically, other people set up their bindings and share them with the Steam community and you can use them. I didn't find them all work perfectly for me, so in the coming days I'll be setting up my own controller bindings for Quest hand tracking. So what do you actually need to make the hand tracking on PC VR work? It's mainly software. You'll need to install Steam Link on your Quest and Steam VR on your Steam. But the trick is, both of these apps need to run in beta channels, at least for now. In SteamVR, click on this gear, select Properties, then Betas, and then select SteamVR Beta Update, which will begin the update installation. You will also need to opt in to the Steam Link public beta release. The link to join is in the description of the Steam Beta Update, but I will also drop it down below in the video description. Next, you will need to install Steam Link on your Quest and join the beta channel here as well. Click on the three dots, select Settings, and under release channel select public beta. So to summarize, make sure you do these three things. First, download the beta update of SteamVR, then join the Steam Link beta release channel, and third, run the public beta version of Steam Link on your Quest. When you do all three, then run Steam Link on your Quest, connect it to your PC, and right here in Steam Home, if you change your avatar hands to fully tracked five-fingered hands and put away your controllers, you will see that your hands are tracking. Now if you run a PC VR game, hand tracking will be supported, but this is where controller bindings come into play. With any game you're playing, the most important thing is to change your controller type to hand tracking. To do that, open the menu, select controller bindings, and under active controller bindings, select custom, and then choose another binding. Here's your current controller, and it should say hand tracking. But the first time I opened this menu, it was set to index controllers, so we need to change it. So click on it, select hand tracking controller. You may want to check this menu for every game you play, and in every game you will see different binding presets. You may try a couple of them and see if any existing ones work for you for that specific game, or you can always set up your own based on the needs of the game and on your specific preferences. Remember that it's still in beta. So it's only just now starting to be really developed. And I don't know if it's actually usable yet to actually play and finish the game because it, it does make it more difficult to play the game. But we are so close, guys. We are getting so close to actually getting this work. Hand checking on PC VR games, oh yeah. <laughs>
if you really want to make it work with hand tracking, I recommend you invest some time setting up your ideal binding as it will make your game so much more enjoyable. I tried existing bindings and none of them really worked perfectly for me, so I found the game more difficult to play this way, but I will spend some time figuring it out and later I will share my personal bindings with the community. And you should too! Let's help the VR community enjoy games together. The only negative I see in this way of playing is that it relies on your internet connection to play these games, so you can only use hand tracking while you're playing wirelessly. And if you prefer playing with a link cable to reduce latency and the quality of the visuals, then this hand tracking method is not going to work, at least not yet. Still, this hand tracking feature is so promising and it got me so excited to play with these settings even more. And if you're curious how Quest 3 performs as a PC VR headset comparing to PSVR 2, then watch this video where I go through their specs and unique features. Thanks for watching and I'll see you there!